If you like buying electronic appliances from overseas, chances are it will come with a plug that is local to its country of origin. In this case, this is a product from China and it comes with a China plug. I like buying products from overseas because they tend to be of good value but they require a universal adapter in order to work. I am not too keen on using such adapters because they leave the prongs exposed. In fact, this one doesn't even fit the china plug well and looks a bit dangerous. One solution is to replace the china plug with a Singapore 3 pin plug. This plug is very easy to change and would make the connection a lot more secure and convenient to use. The original plug comes with earth, life and neutral which means I will be connecting up all three wires to the earth, life and neutral prongs on the local plug respectively. Before you get started, here are the tools that I will be using. The first is a pair of tough scissors. Next is a cream and a box of assorted ferrules. The assorted sizes are useful for a variety of wire sizes. And here we have a wire stripper. This is not absolutely necessary but it makes life a lot easier. Lastly, a new 3 pin plug. Take note of the wire lengths mentioned in the instructions. The earth, life and neutral wires need to be the correct lengths in order to fit into the plug correctly. Without further ado, let's start off by slicing off the original plug, followed by stripping the outer insulation. I highly recommend stripping the insulation lengthwise rather than slicing across as this minimizes the chances of accidentally damaging the insulation of the inner wires. Next is to expose around 6mm of wire and crimping the ferrule on. The ferrule would keep the wire strands together and prevent it from fraying when it is screwed into the plug. I recommend using ferrules whenever you have to connect wires to a screw terminal. This ensures that all the wire strands are electrically connected to the screw terminal. And now this is how the three wires should look like after cutting them to the appropriate length and crimped. With this, we can finally proceed to inserting the wires into the prongs of the plug. Here I'm releasing the cord grip and sliding the wire under it. The yellow green wire is the earth wire which goes to the top prong. The brown wire is live and is connected to the prong that has a fuse. The fuse is only at the live side because this is the prong where the alternating current comes from. Should the device be faulty, the fuse will blow and the device will be safe to touch. Lastly, the blue neutral wire goes to the left prong. Once we are done, we can tighten the cord grip and close up the plug. At this point, you may be wondering why is the live wire the shortest while the earth wire is so long that it looks like it has some slack. This is not an error, but a deliberate design to let the live wire be the first wire to be disconnected in the event that the wires are tucked so hard that it slips out of the screw terminals. Now that we have secured the cord to the cord grip, we can now cover up the plug and return the last screw. With that, we are done with our plug conversion. Thank you for watching.